This is what you get when a DC-10 bombs a fire. All of that red fire retardant smeared all over the desert, and the Arboretum is just right over that hill. Watch out for snakes. Executive Director Lynn Nemeth took us to the hill where she watched firefighters make a stand. I was watching this room, like right here. The red fire retardant just 100 feet or so from the Boyce Thompson Arboretum. Well, look at it. It's, it's beautiful. We have a little oasis here. An oasis that was almost lost. It's just now sinking in that all this almost burned. See, there's slurry over here. Right over here is the our Wallace Garden. The Arboretum has been here for 100 years. It has hundreds of endangered plants. Somehow, everything survived. We didn't lose any of our plants. Incredibly, just days after watching the fire close in, the Arboretum is back open. We dodged a bullet. Yeah, we did. We got awfully close there. Over there? Yeah. Over the ridge right here. I, I know. If weren't for the DC-10s. <laughs> we may not be here talking right now. Yeah. Yeah, they've been going back and forth, thank goodness. Because it wasn't just the Arboretum, not just the plants. If the fire had kept coming, it could have gotten into this valley. The Tano Superior is straight ahead. This is a straight line, basically straight line down to Superior. There is no natural fire break. The Arboretum survived unscathed as the fire moved on and firefighters move on to fight it. Nemes says the Arboretum got very lucky. They even had a little celebration this afternoon, but the fires only moved on from here. It's not out yet. Near Superior, William Pitts, 12 News.